Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm out hitting the canal in search of one of my all time favourite species of fish to catch and that is the tench. Absolutely love them, gorgeous racing green colour and they fight like stink. They spawned probably about two or three weeks ago so it's a perfect time to try and target them now and I'm hoping to target them one or two more times before the river season starts too. Um, so the tactics for the day are ledger fishing tactics, I brought two rods, one of which is a brand new rod that I've not even used yet, so I'm hoping that'll bring me some luck today. Um, I'll be fishing both the rods to the opposite bank along a reed line, um, because that's where tench like to feed late in the evening, they like to come right into the margins to feed, and I'm hoping against the reeds will be a perfect area for them to hold out. Um, but without further ado, we need to get our bait prepared and bait up the area we're going to fish. So for that I've got a silverfish ground bait which is a light colour which is probably going to imitate um, a lot of bread that goes into the canal so they'll definitely recognise the colour and then it's got a lot of different flavours mixed in there and then I, to that I'll be mixing water obviously to get it all mixed up nice I'm going to make it a nice mixture probably slightly over wet um, to account for some of it drying out as the session goes on I'm going to be adding sweet corn to it and then loads of dead maggots. I've got a lot of old maggots, there's no point in just chucking them in after you've gone all monkey. The best thing to do is mix it into your ground bait, makes a really nice ground bait for tench. What you don't want is live maggots. On a canal, generally they're quite salty. Mine is very salty, and what happens is if you've got live maggots, they all wriggle into the cell and uh, they all go hiding. Dead maggots all sit nicely on the top. So I pulled in a few balls of ground bait, three balls of ground bait in each area, one in the start of the reeds and one towards the end of the reeds where they end and fingers crossed we'll intercept some potential over there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up both my rods and fingers crossed we'll get some fish. It's a nice feel on that new rod in it. Cold feels right now, it's got no breathing slime on it. It's soon will though. Sorry new rod. Off to a flying start, within the first half hour of fishing, I've snapped my bank stick completely snapped it. So my rods are getting rested on the floor like <laughs> some noddy angle effort. Yes, we've got a big one. Oh, it's a bream. I thought it was going to be a little roach or a, a perch or something. Hey, first decent fish at a session. Come on, bream. Probably one of the smallest ones in here, to be fair. And it was the first fish Christian on my new rod. So I'm happy about that. I'm using worm today because I'm really trying to target tench. See the worm there on the side of the bream's mouth. Spot on. Lovely fish. No monster, probably about a pound and a half. But a great start anyway. Maybe about two pounds. I get two pounds. Let's get him back. I don't normally like to move from where I'm sitting while I'm uh, fishing, but there's so many bubbles fizzing up in me, the main swim. I want to be really careful as not to spook anything. So I've always gently dropped that quarter of an ounce lead down there. Barely made a splash at all. Absolutely perfect. Should get another bite soon, I think. Right, time to rebate both my swims. This ground bait is actually a little bit dry now. Oh, we've got a bite, we've got a bite, we've got a bite. Just as I was about to rebate, that's another nice bream. Perfect timing. I was just about to put some bait in. And hey presto, a bream straight away. That's within 10 minutes of casting out. Maybe not even that. It's another nice bream, a little bit bigger this one. She might have been my keep net really. We've had a real nice bag of fish today. So we've been fishing about an hour or so. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful fish. It's about three pound this one. 
definitely bigger than the last one. Once again on the worm, as you can see right there. Oh, just slid down the line. Beautiful bream. Definitely bigger than the first bream I had. This one's probably scraping three pound. There, just about anyway. Maybe two and three quarter. Really nice fish. Would have been a nice net build if I got the keep net in. Let's get us back out there and see if we get any more fish on this rod. The other rod isn't getting particularly much action, but this one, three fish so far, three good fish. Awesome. So we've had a, a bit of action now, had a couple of fish to the bank. I think it's time to very quickly go from my setup and my rig that I'm using. The main rod that I've had the action so far on is my brand spanking new Akuma Custom Black Feeder Rod. And I'm fishing that with the lightest tip, I think it's an ounce tip on there. Um, because I want to be looking for some really sensitive bites, because I'm fishing really light. The reel that I've got on there is a Seymour XT Match uh, forward drag, and I've got five pound line on that, and I'm fishing a four pound hook length, fishing fairly light, because I want to fish quite sensitively for these fish, they're quite pressured here, and I think using anything heavier like eight pound or six pound line might just spook off some of the fish. And then I've got, coming down from that, a size 12 micro barbed hook, I'm fishing great big juicy worms on there. Worms and corn, switching between them to pick out the fish. And I'm hoping now as the light levels drop, we should hopefully get a few more bites. I'm going to rebait the swim, probably put another ball of ground bait in each of the swims that I've been fishing. And fingers crossed, the thing should start to act, liven up even more as the light levels drop more. Let's see if we catch anything else. Definitely a small fish. I'll take it though. Little perch, I knew it. <clears throat> there we go. Chunk little perch. <laughs> when you're fishing worms, you gotta expect everything really, ain't you? Oh, there we go. Every time I go to bait up, oh, fish rod starts moving. Is that another perch? Oh no. Surely the perch has moved in. Might have to move on to sweet corn. I was just about to bait up with some sweet corn too. It's nice just to catch fish though, isn't it? But you have to the big tension, big boys, the tension bream. These little perch are a bit of a nuisance. There we go. Let's get this recast back out there and I'll get some corn out there. Let's try and tempt some of the big fish back. You know, if we bully some, bully some of these smaller fish away. Well, I need to go play with that some bit because. Oh, is that carp. a tench? That's a carp. That might be a tench. It's a carp. Or is it a big bream? bream? Big bream. Is right gearing it some? Right, we're into a decent fish now. I want to say it's a tench, but it's doing a lot of it's doing a lot of kiting. Yeah, it does not feel like a bream. I've got me other line in water, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> I've moved it to one side. Oh, it is a tench. It is a tench. Oh, it's a lovely tench. That is what I was after today. They gave such a delicate bite. I genuinely thought it was going to be a pole rod. Honestly, I've seen that one. It's a little bit of carp. It's one of them green carp. Proper going for it. Look, I've had bream fight this hard, so uh, it's a lovely fish. Ah, straight in the net. Oh, so absolutely beautiful tench. Not a bad size one either for this particular stretch. Normally they're a little bit smaller than that when you catch them. I've just caught on ledged worm and he's going absolutely crazy. Really nice hook hold right in the corner, right where you want it. Absolutely perfect. There we go. And that's it, mission accomplished. Beautiful female tench in great condition to say they spawned a couple of weeks ago. Probably a few pounds, still quite podgy actually. 
And that was caught on my new setup too. So I've got two rods, and my new setup has caught me the two decent fish so far. Nice bream, it was probably scraping two pound, and a tench is probably about three pound. Absolutely awesome, I really do have a thing for tench. They are one of my top favorite fish. I mean, just look at the color of that eye and the color of the body. Real, real nice fish. Let's get this one back. Hopefully, I'll get a couple more before it gets dark. So guys, it looks like that's the end of my session. The sunlight is rapidly setting. I want to be able to pack all my things away and not leave anything and forget anything on the bank because it's too dark. But an awesome session, caught some wicked fish. Now I don't know if it was luck of the new setup that I used today, um, but for some reason the, set, the brand new setup that I used just got so much action, especially early on. Um, so I'll leave a link to that setup in the description below. Uh, I had some great fun on that today. Caught some really nice fish. Tench, absolutely beautiful fish, aren't they? So glad that I managed to get one out today. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll catch you guys later.